slogan, which at some level gives you this sense of genuine authenticity. Slogan. Yes, what, 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 what would you come up with? On this spot, I think you were asking me for slogan earlier also. So I'm saying the. Mujhe aise hi dimag mein jo aata hai abhi, gunj raha hai Bharat. और इसको मैं आई कैन सी अ कैंपेन देयर लाइक यहां से जो टूरिस्ट आ रहा है वो भी कह रहा है मुझ में गूंज रहा है भारत और आप विश्व स्तर पर देखें और देश के देखें गूंज रहा है भारत भारत का प्रताप भारत की प्रतिष्ठा भारत का सम्मान भारत की एवरीथिंग वॉट आर कंट्री इट्स रेजनेटिंग रिवर्बरेटिंग आई फील राइट नाउ यू आस मी इंस्टेंटली आई मीन दिस इज एन एक्सरसाइज विच वी नॉर्मली सॉर्ट ऑफ दैट्स अ प्रोफेशन यू आर आस्किंग टू डू फॉर फ्री <laughs> well someone is paying you now i believe uh, someone is paying you bjp is going to pay you for no, uh, that's obviously building their political and strategy and so course, how is that of course when it happens uh, when it happens and, and we are we are, yeah, yeah. we are looking forward to the challenge i think there is uh, there are some fabulous people out there you know who are in, in the committee and in the organization um, great minds i would say uh, bjp has and i think it will be immensely a learning exercise for me personally as well has always been and uh, i think uh, work is a way of our engaging with uh, with life i think we look forward to the challenge well it's very interesting that you've got this assignment at a time when many people say that bjp doesn't represent everyone in this country it only represents a very few bunch of people who are allied to a particular kind of exclusivist idea of india etc etc so how are you going to broad base the bjp's appeal aap lagta hai ek kinara leke baithe hue hain मुझे नहीं लगता कि मुझे बिल्कुल भी ऐसा नहीं लगता आई मीन लेश मात्र भी नहीं लगता कि जब आप भारत कहते तब भी नहीं लगता मुझे लगता है कि ये भारत का डिबेट जो है आप बढ़ाना चाहे तो बढ़ाते रहे लेकिन अगर आप समझें तो उसकी आत्मा में आप आपको समझ में आ जाता है कि भाई एक संस्कृति होती है देश की आत्मा होती है और वो संस्कृति को हम जन्म देते हैं हमारे हाथों से बनती है उसमें जो भी है वो सब हमारा है तो उसमें किसको कहाँ पर यूज़ करना है उसकी भारत कहाँ कह रहे हैं आप इंडिया कहाँ कह रहे हैं क्यों कह रहे हैं वो इनक्रेडिबल इंडिया कहेंगे इनक्रेडिबल आई थिंक ये जैसे जैसे इवॉल्व होता है ऐसे ऐसे लोगों के थॉट्स क्लियर होते हैं रही बात कि पार्टी किसकी है आई थिंक आई वुड से एनी बडी हु इज़ ऑपरेटिंग एज अ पार्टी वुड लाइक टू बी एंड आई थिंक मुझे मैं समझता हूँ बीजेपी सबकी पार्टी है आई थिंक दे दे ट्राइंग टू एंड लुक एट आर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ही ट्राइज टू रीच आउट टू एवरी i was with him uh, with the youngsters at the you know creators award uh, you know young creators content creators award and i could see that young 17 year 20 year 25 year old boys and girls how they were sort of from across the country you know who are not they don't have knowledge of politics that much but how they were gravitating towards it i think uh, intent is there now how far people have gone how much road to cover you can talk about those things and uh, you can't be illusionary about those things but intent of bjp is to be a party of everyone in this country in fact they have global ambitions hum main isliye bhartiyata ko manta hu dekhiye bhartiyata ke mool mein humne g20 mein mera swabhagya raha ki inke jaise you know mind ke sath maine kaam kiya g20 mein i did the branding and advertising and campaign with him he was leading it Now, if you see, हमने वहां पर कहा वसुधैव कुटुंबकम इन टूरिज्म टूडे आई थिंक दिस फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम बट इन टू अंडरस्टैंड हमने क्या किया वी हैव जस्ट री इनफोर्स्ड वट इंडिया पीपल वॉन्टेड टू बिलीव इंडिया इज कि यहां पर बहुत सारे कलर हैं बड़े मसाले हैं नाच गाना है और उसी को री इनफोर्स हम काफी वक्त तक करते रहे वेल सम ऑफ दैट इज नॉट रॉन्ग true the truth is it's not deep diving into indian ethos when we say diversity it looks like the way people are talking about diversity and inclusion in the world india is also talking about diversity and inclusion in the world but is it that truth the truth is when we say vasudhaiv kutumbakam when we say ekam sat vipraha bahuda vadanti or we go to syadvad or anekantvad now ye sab cheeze hamare एंशियंट इथोस है नाउ पीपल से वाई गोइंग टू एंशियंट अरे भाई वही तो आपको डिफ्रेंशिएट करता है वरना एवरीबडी थिंग्स लाइक इट्स अ फैशन टू टॉक अबाउट इंक्लूसिविटी एंड डाइवर्सिटी इंडिया इज ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इंडिया इज नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इंडिया हैज प्रैक्टिस इट 
Now, how does it help Brand India? It does help Brand India because it makes it ahead of everyone. And it says that before you even, it crossed your mind, this civilization has, was practicing it. I take a lot of pride in it. Whenever I go into different other countries, I make it a point I say that. Another point which he made a point to say in, 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 in G20 was mother of democracy. Now, democracy, I think our Honorable Prime Minister had played a lot of emphasis to that. That people should know that democracy is not a newfound thought for India. It has been part of the ethos of this country. Another thing, sustainability. You look at sustainability, you say sustainable development. And I pride ke saath, baut garb ke saath ye ki I, I come from a country jahan par we never talk about human, 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 human civilization, human thing, human thing. Keeping human at the center is not what we do. That we are humans and everything else is for our consumption. That is not the way India thinks. India thinks about srishti. Srishti means all creation. There is a rhythm to the creation. So I am one of the part of the creation. Hence, it is not for my consumption. And what it does, that it creates sustainability on its own. And then sustainable development, sustainability comes like an afterthought. Like you say sustainable development. The sustainability has come as an afterthought. But for India, development has to begin with sustainability because we believe in srishti and creation and one with it. That's why we cannot harm something for our progress. Now, is it a modern thought? Or is it a thought which is part of the ethos of the country? And if somebody says it's part of the ethos of the country, you call them, call them parochial? You call them the fact that they are, you know, becoming inward looking? I think that is injustice and unfair. Well, Mr. Kant, obviously there has been a moment in time where we are deciding to make this pivot. But the experience has been thus far that Bharat was sort of tucked away a little bit.